we've defined the cutoff frequency as the frequency where the magnitude of the frequency response function is equal to one half of its maximum, or uh, one over the square root of two times its maximum value, or the magnitude of h of j omega sub c is equal to one over the square root of two times h max. Now that may sound a little bit arbitrary, but certainly it's not, and let's see if we can understand why. Consider our filter here, the low-pass inductor resistor filter, where this is Vn. We take the output across the, the uh, resistance here. Well, we know that voltage delivered to the load is equal to V squared over R. In general, I'm sorry, power is equal to V squared over R. In general, power is proportional to V squared. So if the power in is proportional to V in squared, and the power out is equal to, or is proportional to, V out squared, at the cutoff frequency, V out is equal to 1 over the square root of 2 times V in. Or P out then, is then equal to, or proportional to, if you want to maintain that, proportional to 1 over the square root of 2 V in squared. So P out then would be proportional to 1 half V in squared. Well, power in was proportional to V in squared. The power out is proportional to 1 half V in squared. So we can say then, at the cutoff frequency, the output power is equal to one half of the input power. At the cutoff frequency, half of the power is delivered to the load. And then where must the other half of the power be? Well, it must be absorbed by the inductor then. So the half power frequency and omega sub c are one and the same quantity.